So I'm wondering if this is like Leonardo da Vinci's space pod, but I don't think so. It's called The Motion of Fire, and it says Leonardo wrote about the nature of fire, its constant movement and its ability to destroy. His military designs that Robert just schooled me on utilized fire's destructive power. Although not a violent man, he called war a brutal insanity, Leonardo lived in a violent age and was often commissioned to design machines of war. And this is apparently an armored tank that we're looking at here. Look at that. How crazy is that? And it would be operated from the inside by eight men who would load and fire the cannons and turn cranks to move the wheels. Four centuries after his death, the first tanks appeared on the battlefields of World War I, powered by internal combustion engines, and functioned much as he predicted. So, shall we go inside? Okay, we're not allowed to climb the ladder that the sign is on. And I'm not inclined to do so myself, although not because of the rules, just because I don't have that small feet. Soldiers inside the tank aim their cannons by sighting the battlefield through observation holes in the turret. And here we are looking up inside the turret at the observation holes. And apparently, I think these are the cranks that were used to fire the cannons. Let's see how that would work. Oh, I'm too big of a pansy to do that. You do that or you're not actually supposed to move them. I guess I could see why they wouldn't want cannons fired inside the museum. So, call that one good. <laughs> you were absolutely right, Robert. This is his tank. That's kind of amazing.